Peace, family. This is Lions Den with another news and commentary. This is the most sickest story I've ever covered in my life. In Nashville, Tennessee, Bailey Cantrell was sitting inside her car at a Nashville gas station parking lot early Saturday morning when a complete, complete stranger violently attacked her. According to a report from Metro Na Nashville Police, a man approached Cantrell while she was on the phone and asked her for her number. Cantrell rebuffed her, his advances twice. The third time, she told the man she would not be interested in ch exchanging numbers because she's identified as a lesbian. That's when the man launched himself onto the hood of her car, kicked in her windshield, and proceeded to drag her to the ground. I said, I'm gay, so I'm not. I'm just not interested, and triggered him. Kendra said, I do believe it was a hate crime. So I'm going to go ahead and post this video. Um, and before I post the video, I want to let, let everybody else know this video is graphic. So uh, if you have kids, and um, if I were you, put the kids in, in another room or take them, the kids outside because this video is really crazy. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video and give you the rest of my commentary. She wouldn't give him her phone number, so a stranger smashed her car and attacked her, and it all happened right outside a West End gas station. We have the shocking video that shows the violent encounter, and News Channel 5 Sarah McCarthy spoke with the victim who's calling this a hate crime. My friend had gone to the gas station just to, you know, get something, and uh, I was waiting for her outside, and this man approached me and was asking for my phone number and, you know, calling me all these names. Bailey Cantrell declined a strange man's advances two times. When he approached her again, just outside this quick sack near Centennial Park, she told him why. After I declined, still a little bit mad, but then the second I declined the third time and said, I, you know, I'm gay, I'm just not interested, that's when it kind of triggered him and that's when he started getting very aggressive. A security camera captured the moment the man jumped onto Cantrell's car and kicked in her windshield. Yelling, very provocative words. She reversed, the man followed, then Cantrell panicked and got out of her car. The only thing I was thinking while that was going on was that he might have a weapon, he might have a knife, he might have a gun, I don't know, so... Pretty much just flailing every limb that I had to get out of his grip. Many have criticized Cantrell for how she reacted, despite the fact she couldn't see out of her windshield to drive away. Cantrell says she simply acted in the moment. I only reversed to try to knock him over, make him fall, but that didn't work. So when I got out, I was just getting out to, you know, grab my phone and call 911. And also there was glass in my eye from where all that glass had hit us. So that was uncomfortable and I felt like I needed to get out of the car. Today, Cantrell is moving out of her apartment, which is just minutes from the gas station. She'll live with her parents in Hendersonville, where she feels safe. She hopes somehow her attacker will be held accountable. Since he did this and he got away with it, he doesn't have any repercussions. You know, he's going to think that, oh, if this girl rejected me, I could just do this to her and it's going to be totally fine. I didn't get caught last time. Reporting in Nashville, Sarah McCarthy, News Channel 5. Police say this is an open investigation. So far, they've made no arrests. Okay, family, you saw the video. First of all, you know... No, put it like this. Being rejected is one thing. But to jump in front, jump on top of a woman's car and smash her windshield, that is totally out of control. Like, dude, come on, bro. Le let it be. Leave it alone. And if she doesn't want you, let it, let it go. There's other women out here in, in, in the city of Nashville you can talk to or be with. So... And the thing of it is, is that it's just basically scary. Um, it's just that he just he just basically just lost his mind. Now, luckily, I'm glad that that woman wasn't really hurt. I'm glad that she's okay. But it could have it couldn't got worse. And I'm just basically just shook my head because why would you? First of all, why would you even get mad because a woman rejected you? You know, she says she's a lesbian. Let it go. Leave, there's other women out there. But sometimes there's men, there's some guys out there that just too, you know, it's just, it, it's too thirsty. Put it like that. They're too thirsty. They want to get a woman, but at the same time, the woman don't, is not interested in them. You know, they go off. It's like, it's like I think a couple of years ago, at a, uh, it happened at a club in Detroit. 
when a when a sister told a brother that she's not interested in him, you know, he shot and killed her. All because she turned him down, all because she rejected him. See, this is why I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, that people need to be careful of their surroundings, especially if a person is crazy, if the person is out of out of their minds. And obviously, this dude just I mean, he just can't say no. So even so Nashville police is looking for this guy. Um and unfortunately, it shows that, you know, no matter if this, this woman, she, yeah, she's a white woman, but she's a, she says she already said she's a lesbian. Already right now, we already know that she's gay. Let it go. Um, but this, at the same time, a lot of guys don't realize, you know, when you when a woman said no, no means no, as they say. People forgot about that. So... Whoever this guy is, I think police will find out who he is, and that he'll he get caught, he'll he'll get captured soon. So, the point is, is to tell all the other guys: if a woman say no, or if a woman rejects you, take it, accept it, and move on. There's plenty of women out here to choose from. She's not the only woman in the world. Trust me. And that's and basically you gotta you gotta understand that you can't not just be mad because a woman turned you down because again there's reasons why women will reject you either they're not that you're not their type or like she said she's a lesbian or she just not interested period and people just need this people I know people do not like being rejected and it's life. But don't go overboard with it. Almost want to hurt this woman because she turned you down. Damn. This is ridiculous. So, again, I hope this. I hope the police find out who this guy is and they can go ahead and get this guy off the streets before he, he does some, someone else like that. Because a guy like that, yeah, this, he's crazy. And, and again... It, I wouldn't even if I wouldn't even deal with a situation like that. Seriously, I wouldn't. So, my advice to all the to all the dudes that get turned down or get rejected, don't worry about it. There's plenty of other women out there. And and but don't but whatever you do, don't end up like this guy right there that jumps over someone else's car and kick the windshield. He is really really crazy. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video. Share this video. Subscribe my YouTube channel. Subscribe my reaction channel. And subscribe my Black Junction channel for any more news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.